first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Minnesota Ruel, who teach us this truth through the Spirit and power, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai. Peace and salutation to the Akim Zemaudi, who pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. This is Brother Quara from Trinidad Camp, coming to you to another lesson to feed the like at the house of Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Now, I'll entitle this lesson. Rejoice while it still lasts, Edom. You know, I'll go into YouTube and come across this little short vid, little short video here. You know, he saw, you know, the dancing and spraying money, you know, at a, at a wedding. And, you know, soon the rejoicing going and coming to mourning, weeping, you know, death, destruction. You know that, you know that the field of rejoicing is going to be forever you know that the house is going to be forever that the, the, the riches is going to be forever and it's soon going to come to naught you know thus said Yahweh Hashem Yashai you know according to the prophecies you know as scripture say you know the Lord say words will not return unto him void you know so the things the Lord you know had spoken you know that it's surely going to come to pass you know, you just gotta, you know, you have patience, you know, and wait, you know, it, 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 it's on its way, you know, it, it soon come, you know, the, the fall of Esau kingdom and the rise of Yahweh Shai kingdom, you know, as scripture say in 2nd Ezra 6, you know, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, you know, he, Israelites got next, you know. We're gonna rejoice, you know, in our Lord for forever. You know, he saw rejoicing, you know, it, it, it temporal, you know, it's it on, a, it on a, a, a contract, you know, and he contract, you know, it have an expiry date, you know, and it come into that that time, you know, it come into that expiry time. That you know it's not gonna be renewed. The contract not gonna be renewed. You know, so we just play. You know, this clip and we go through some some precepts. <laughs> might feel you know the joy the rejoicing is gonna be forever you know eh? but you know a eh? destruction you know it's eh? soon at hand you know so hey eh? let the rejoice you know because it soon end you know and a lot of them feel that you know eh? where the Israelites face you know being in this low state this low position you know you know, the curses come upon us, you know, for, for disobedience, for turning, turning away from our power. The curses, you know, it fall upon us for disobedience, you know, and these Edomites, them think that, you know, they, they exempt from that, that that not going to come upon them, that that not going to happen to them. You know, you know, he saw, you know, he, he moves proud, you know. That you know when you know at our fall, when you read Psalms one, I think it's one thirty seven, you know, where you say hey, raise it, raise it, you know, he destroy it, destroy it. You know, he feel that you know he exempt from that that he ain't gonna fall. 
that he's gonna continue forever, that he's gonna prosper and rise forever and rule forever. You know, that scripture says in Psalm 53, verse 4, have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread? They have not called upon God. Yes, yeah, so the things you know they're doing, you know, to the Israelites, you know, they feel that you know the Lord asleep, that the Lord not gonna take vengeance, you know. And defend his people, Israel. You know, the feel that they, you know, the Lord, you know, he not dealing with Israel no more. You know, but the Lord gonna defend Israel, right? As the scripture say in, in Deuteronomy, okay, in Deuteronomy thirty, uh, I think it's seven for this. Yeah. Deuteronomy thirty verse seven. You see, and the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. You know, so the curses, you know, was brought upon us, hey, they're going to be upon our enemies. Right? So the curses that the Lord put upon the children of Israel, that, you know, you're going to make us the tail and make, you know, our enemies the head. Hey, the Lord going to reverse that. They're going to be in that low state. They're going to be tail and we're gonna be the heads you know so these curses gonna come upon these Edomites these heathen nations right so they know the time the time at hand you know they come in you know their fall come in right is um lamentation for us 21 he said rejoice and be glad O daughter of Edom that dwellest in the land of us the cup also shall pass through unto thee thou shalt be drunk and shall make thyself naked that cup represents the destruction slavery these curses but we don't read in Deuteronomy 13 verse 7 we're gonna come upon our enemies these curses gonna come upon our enemies Right, so you see that he ain't exempt from that. Right, it's gonna come upon him. Right, you know, so the, the big apple, you know, uh, uh, America. Right, destruction at hand. Right, so hey, you all rejoice. Party, max out all the credit card. You know, you all live in deliciously you know a hey. get your party on got it soon you're all gonna be in bondage you're all gonna be in slavery they're gonna have no more party no more of that right, I just seen um revelation revelation 18 verse 7 he say how much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she said in her heart i sit a queen i set a queen and i'm no widow and shall see no sorrow <laughs> you know you feel it not gonna come right she most proud that you know a hey, she military great Nobody could take she down, you know, she go. she's always going to be on top, right? She's almighty and powerful. Nobody could take she down. <laughs> and the scripture says in Isaiah 14, is this the man that this is within the nation that come to naught by? Yahweh Basham, your shy going to bring you down to the dust. He going to bring you down. So he ain't all that powerful. Right? There is one who is most powerful in all the world. Yahweh Basham Yoshai. He gonna bring you down. God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Right? The God of the people who you're persecuting. Right? And had in slavery. Their power gonna bring you down. Right? Just saying, Isaiah. 
here 47 verse 1 he said come down and sit in the dust O virgin daughter of babylon sit on the ground there is no throne O daughter of the child beings for thou shall be no more called tender and delicate you know the the, the big apple the land opportunity <laughs> will be no more called that it's gonna be a wilderness a desert right so the Lord gonna bring you down because of your wickedness by your evils right by your unjust dealings right by your sorceries the Lord gonna bring you down just seeing um in Neum verse four. He said, Because of the multitude of thy whoredoms of the well favoured harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft. right that is why the lord gonna deal with you because of your wickedness because of your multitude of, of, of whoredoms right there the lord fed up you know yeah you should just say in revelation revelation 18 verse 5 for her sins have reached unto heaven and god had remembered iniquity uh, your cup your cup overflow with wickedness Esau right your sins have reached unto heaven right the, the cry the, the cry the saints right it reach unto the most high the prayers are the saints right the Lord see in your wickedness Right, and soon eh, you're gonna be put out. Right, the scripture saying um in Job, Job 18 verse 5, yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine, the light shall be dark in his tabernacle. And the candle shall be put out with him. Yeah. So you ain't going, you ain't going and, you know, a, be called, you know, a tender and or the delicate, you know, living deliciously. You know? Have, having, having it all. Yeah. Right? It's going to be darkness gonna be dark in your tabernacle right because of your wickedness you know the lord you know you all is our people and you know the lord had indignation forever you know the lord hate you you eat the mites right you descendants are esau the lord hate esau and you are and you eat the mites right let's just see Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, twenty-seven verse twenty-four. Ecclesiasticus twenty-seven verse twenty-four. You say, "I have hated many things, but nothing like him, for the Lord will hate him." Who is this you think the Lord talking about? You Edomites, you the descendants of Esau. I should just say. In Romans, Romans 9, verse 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Lord, hate this man. Right? And just saying, Malachi 1, verse 4, 
he said, whereas Edom said, we are in province, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. Lord had indignation forever with you all. Lord hate you, Edomites. He hate you, descendants of Esau. Right? For your all wickedness. Right? The things you all do to the children of Israel, hey, the curse is going to come upon all you. And you all going to get back the same thing. And the scripture say, it was Zama Solomon, where with a man sin it, by the same he shall be punished. Right? The same thing only give out, the same thing only going to receive. And guess what? It's gonna, it not going to be the exact same thing, or it's going to be double portion. Right? You know, we, we went through it, you know, fierce. You know, and what coming to all you, <laughs> it's going to be terrible. You know, it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Yahweh Basham Yoshai. Right? There's, um, but, um, there's, um, there's Jeremiah, Jeremiah 30 verse 16. He said, Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be spoiled, and all that pray upon thee will I give for prey. Right, you Edomites that shed the blood of the children of Israel like water round about Jerusalem. Hey, therefore, all that devoured thee shall be devoured, and every one of them shall go into captivity. So, don't feel that you know the Lord gonna leave some of y'all behind and, and pick some to go into slavery, and the rest, you know. You know, they could, they could, they could, they could buy the, 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 the freedom with, the, with the, 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 the money. No, the Lord not going to regard all your money. Right? You all ain't going to buy your way out of this one. You know, or use all your system. You know that, you know, you all could get away scot free. No, eh, the Lord going to come and judge all in his justice system. And you all going to be found guilty. Right for everything you all done to the children of Israel. Right, you all gonna feel the wrath of Yahweh Basham Yoshai, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, come in. You know, so we hey, rejoice. You know, he max out all your credit card. You know, time come in. You know, and with that, you know, hope it was very fine. You know, I like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Basham Yoshai, Basham Akakadash. I take a double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well. Peace and salutation to the Yakim Zamori, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. Lady Brother Quara, saying a shalom.